Here is a little Lionel caboose that was priced at $3 at a train show, but I ended up paying just $2 for it. It's probably one of the cheapest trains that Lionel ever offered, and it's definitely cheaply made. There are only eight pieces to the whole thing, and that's counting a screw that holds the non-functioning coupler to the frame. I never even knew that plastic wheels were a thing in O-Gage, but here they are, and they don't hold up well. So, what should I do with this? It's so small, and it's so cheap. But then I thought about some other YouTube creators who have military trains with American tanks and jeeps on flat cars. I liked those, so I started making my own versions, but with German equipment. This caboose has sides that look like they could be wooden, so why not an army caboose, but for the German Wehrmacht? A little wet sanding removes the Santa Fe graphics, some more scrubbing with a toothbrush, and then it's off to the climate-controlled paint booth, also known as a sheet of plywood on top of a garbage can in my driveway. When I'm finished with this caboose, I think I will have used five different colors. This went on a little glossy. It's supposed to be a satin paint, but the glossiness actually will be a benefit later on when I begin to apply decals. The tan paint went on first. I allowed it to dry for a day or so. Then I used masking tape to define the areas that would end up being the medium brown. The black railings looked a little plain to me, so I resprayed them in a color that's more commonly known as Panzer Gray. So what about these ladders? Safety is a pretty big concern these days. I think these ladders should stand out. I'm going to paint them white. And the windows and the doors on either end of the caboose? How about a nice glossy red? but it won't stay shiny forever. Because when I'm done, I'm gonna spray the entire thing with a matte finish clear coat. A little bit of brown for the base, and then it's time for graphics. These are a mixture of decals from a 135th scale Tiger tank, and also a World War II German airplane. I can't remember which one. But the decals themselves have to be close to 25 years old. I used a few of them on the flat cars that I made earlier, and surprisingly, they still work really well. After the decals have had a little time to set and dry, I applied the clear coat, the matte finished flat clear coat over the entire model before I began the reassembly, which actually went pretty smoothly, which is nice. The ladders and the railings just slide into the slots on the roof and then the whole thing just snaps back onto the base and that's it for reassembly. It's a very simple toy train. And it would have gone quickly but I did have to leave quite a bit of time between colors because of the masking. If I had just resprayed this caboose in one color I would have been done in about a day, maybe a day and a half but I actually had to leave about a day and a half between doing each color because of the masking. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. 
I think it looks uh, pretty much period correct for something from the 1930s or 40s and it's gonna look really good pulled behind the flat cars that I did earlier also for the uh, the German army the Wehrmacht so maybe now I need to start thinking about a locomotive well I already have been thinking about that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.